Hello, everybody. This is Frogman, and welcome back to Engineer's Life 2. Last episode, we built the uh, immersive engineering metal press and got our stuff working a little bit so that we can make our plates and our wires and a few things a little bit cheaply. We upgraded our... Cheaper, I should say. Che cheaper. We upgraded our blast furnace, the crude blast furnace, into an improved blast furnace. I've not yet gotten to the point where we're running it yet. We have plenty of materials to play with as far as things go, so I'm just going to continue to try to cook off some more coal coke i really 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 need again we're gonna have to probably think about making a little bit better of a way to actually store this stuff so maybe what we should do first before we get into the mod that i want to play with today is i want to make a little bit more easy storage for that so we do or should still have a reasonable amount of iron plates laying around and if nothing else i can for sure just go make a few more but let's go ahead and make a storage tank that we can utilize to do the job with that thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and crush a bunch of those down. This is working out great. I do actually think I wanna, well, we're letting that beat itself. Uh, let's make the multimeter or voltmeter so we can actually see what's going on. I need some iron. I believe I need some copper and I need some sticks, I think, right? Because we need to make a compass, which is that. Uh, and that probably got us a quest somewhere on that end of it. So let's see, voltmeter. So copper and some sticks. Thank you. Great. Awesome. And that will allow us to at least be able to see the contents of certain things. So now I know how much is in that. Now I know how much is in that. It has a long way to go before that's filled up. It's not too terrible bad. I mean, for, for what that was, a continuous amount of just, you know, power being created from free, pretty much. That's not a terrible thing. So, cool. Let's grab those and make a few more of this. So, let's see. Uh, I don't I don't forget exactly how many it takes. It's like 30 some odd blocks of this to do what we want to do. Something like that. That's probably plenty. Uh, let's go make some more of the sticks. Wonk. There you go. Connect to treated wood, treated wood. So then we need to make a few more treated wood fence posts. Eh. Treated wood fence post. Where did you go? I probably can make those in that. Yeah, I can. Dang it. Well, whatever. We'll make a few of those as well. That way we've got that stuff for later. All right, let's go construct one of these tanks. I think we'll put it behind here for now. Again, this is all going to be kind of sort of temporary. So let's clean up the mess. Cool. All right. You can go in the trash. You can go in the trash. And this should be pretty simple. So we're going to do that, 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 and that. And... Believe these are five tall. Come here, mouse. Let me have my stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and craft these up. I know exactly how this one goes for the most part. One of the reasons why I really like this mod is because all of the structures are big. It's, you know, more to real life size than some of the other things like the uh, industrial foregoing mod. There we go. Cool. Nice fluid tank. We should be able to... I don't even know if these things will auto-output at this point. We're going to go ahead and make a pump. Actually, what else can we do? Isn't there some stuff from... Let me see. What is this? Uh, industrial foregoing. We can't do anything with this one. What was the name of this other thing? What 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 are the, who, who, What is the name of the mod that this is? It's Engineer's Decor. Okay. Do we have some kind of fluid moving capabilities with engineer's decor that does not require a pump to work? I believe we have fluid pipe valves, controlled valves, valves and things and stuff, but I don't think there's any kind of a method to move fluids without having to use a pump to pump something out of something. So let's look at a pump, which is going to be that dude right there, which is going to be a couple more of those fluid pipes, more stuff. I need to make some more things. How much do we have? We'll put you in there. Can I deconstruct these? It used to be that you could deconstruct those, I guess, depending on which mod you're playing in. So we have a few right there. We need one, two for a one of these. So that and that. Give me that back. Thank you. And I'll take those. You made a few of these. 
So I do not have enough stuff, but we can make the pipe at least. So there's the fluid pipe, and I think we need three more of those. Yes, okay. Uh, one more piece of iron blockage. Can I have... I don't know. I changed this out for a labeled crate thinking it was going to be better. They're a little funky. Go ahead and make some more plates. This is actually pretty quick. Thank you. Alright, so a pump is going to be that. We need a stick and a lever so we can do that we're opening all kinds of things up at this point that's how you get things out of stuff like this you take a pump and we'll put the pump right there and i may have to move this thing to get it to do what i want to do and put we'll do the output right there I may need to make a few more of these. Yep. Let's just make sure that doesn't accidentally pump back in. And we need to go to sleep. Did I make some more iron plates? I did. Cool. We need to make a few more of the pipes. Pipe, 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 pipe. Let's make some pipe. There we go. Cool. And I need some kind of scaffolding to get up on this so that I can get up here and fall down. That's exactly what I want to do. Come here. So there to there. I'm standing in the way. I know it's okay. All right. Sweet. And if I put a lever on that pump over here and turn it on, it should pump the stuff out of there. Nice. All right, so the fun part's going to be, what can we do with these? I mean, for right now, they're full, and that's all I need them to be is full to be used for later. But I kind of don't want them. Where's that instruction book? Does it tell me anything about how those tanks work? Uh, building, structural, cosmetic, illumination, power, fluids. Fluidics, collection, funnels. I think this would actually consist of grading a top funnel tank. So place on the floor of a factory provides additional safety by collecting spilled liquids like diesel, gasoline, creosote, and other has small... That's interesting. Uh, why? Why would I need that? Crafting and smelting, automation, milking machine. Ooh. Ooh, we need to do looking at that probably. Where would you, where would one find? I don't know. Factory dropper, factory hopper, all kinds of cool stuff. Wonderful, fun things. Nothing. Okay. I'll have to look at that later because I think I remember reading something about how these would connect down or maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe it's just a tank that you have to interact with with a pump or something like that, but that's fine. Okay, cool. So we got those done. We got that sorted. That thing can sit there and run now and not be just making a mess everywhere, which is kind of what I was concerned about doing. So let's put a few of our things away. We've got a thing there. we got a thing here. We can live in there for now. Let's play with Tetra today. Let's see what we can't do about trying to learn a little bit about this mod. So... I have used it slightly, not a whole lot, so it, it is one of those kinds of things that I do know a little bit about it. You know what? Just do it the easy way. Give me everything that I would have normally got. Basic fish sandwich. Awesome. Can I have it right now? Do I have fish sandwiches in there? I kind of feel like I do. No, I don't. Okay. So let's play around with Tetra. Let's see what we can't get into. I do know for a fact that we're going to need another crafting table. So, let's see here. Where is some wood? And we're going to do this. And if I hit that with the hammer, I should end up with the bench that allows me to do certain things. So, 
Uh, we will play with this mess later. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? Tools of the Ancients. The reason why I want this is these are upgradable, levelable, levelable tools, weapons, and such. You also have the ability to make some more uh, storage and various other things. Plus, you're going to be, as you wander down through the mod, you actually have to do a little bit of exploring to do a few things. So we do basically start down here as you make a wooden hammer. So the wooden hammer is something that you, we've had to create right off the bat. You'll be given a workbench. Workbench, again, is just something that you use to get another one of these hammers, which is nice. Geodes, we found quite a few geodes. So supposedly, I can crack open a geode here, correct? I need a tier two hammer to do that. See, that's the fun part. So now we need to go to work towards a tier two hammer. So Holosphere, we already have. We'll go ahead and claim that request. Base materials of Tetra are supplemented by Tetra Nomicon, bringing almost all of the Tetra Nomicon, bringing almost all the materials currently in the pack, with a few exceptions. With base materials, these added materials can be seen in the Holosphere. Holosphere is a fun, cool little thing to play with. So. More tools, more tool upgrades will require axes. Wood materials will require axes. Metal, stones will require certain various things. Yes, we make all of the wonderful tools out of various things. And we, of course, have bindings and other stuff like that. And a rack. How do we make a rack? It's a slab and a couple of ingots. I know I'm kind of going through some of this a little quickly, but mainly it's just a lot of reading. You guys want to... Slow it down. Go ahead, by all means, pause and, you know, read it. I uh, wonder if that'll work. No, I, I... No, of course it won't work. Why would it not work? It's just wood that's been treated. Tool rack. Give me tool rack. Can I... I may have to put a piece of wood or something right there. Grab me that for now. That. So if I put that up there. Huh. Okay, cool. Tool rack. Rewards. What did we get? Feather Falling 4. Wow. Okay. Put that in the box up there with all the rest of the books. And that can go back in the trash. All right, so let's get to working on making some stuff. Let's start by messing with the stone hammer. So we need to make a stone hammer. Which I think how you make a stone hammer is you kick the hollow sphere open and read in here. So let's see. Shields, materials, double-headed. I think it's in double-headed. Bindings, sockets, all these wonderful things. String bindings, hemp bindings, vine bindings. This is the part. Is it gets a little crazy in here. I think you're double-headed. So if I do one, two, and some wood, and I'm going to say we'll do hemp, I think that'll work, right? Hammerhead, uh, warped hammer. Where's the stone? That. And. Head right. Hammerhead. Stone. Double headed. Binding. Binding. That, which I don't think we can do because I need a tier two cutting material implement. I have tier one available. Oh, uh, can I just do this? Can I do some? What can I do? What have I got? What can I use? String binding. Do we have string on us? All I want to do is be able to make a silly hammer so I can do a few things. We have string. We can make string just like right there. Thank you. And I think I need maybe something like this. I Again, it's been a while. I may have to go back and actually read again how things work. So we're going to do string binding, structural, craft, go back, binding, double-headed, handle will just be a basic handle made out of wood. And for that, we cannot use sticks. We have to use 
wood. So just grab some cage planks. That'll work. Yeah. Tier one axe. I have a tier three available. So cool. And I think with all that, I should be good, right? Am I losing my mind? Cobblestone. All right, I forgot you can do that. How do I forget in the world how you do this? Give me that hammer. Eh. Give me the hammer. Thank you. Oh. Duh. We need to upgrade this thing if we can. So let's see about upgrading these to something else. So we need a hammer head, and I want to craft with this. Thank you. And I want to craft with this. No, I want to craft. Where is it? Hammerhead. Go. Wonderful. Hammerhead. Craft. That is now a wooden hammer. Or a stone hammer. Beautiful. Thank you. Where is the other one that we have? We should have two of these. So theoretically, now we should be able to take this guy. And I think I can put this on it. Can I put this on you? No, I need two. Can I do that over here? I forgot you got to do it in the actual thing. Put that in there. Craft. You need a tier two cutting implement. I have a tier one available. I am going to have to make a thing. Can I take that out of there now? And we have a stone hammer. Now, all this is is a crafting agent, as far as I know, or recall, or remember. So let's go ahead and put the wooden one up. And start our way down this long pathway of silliness. So I think all I really need to do is we're going to start. I'm going to start. Why do you? I want that. Thank you. I'm going to start with a stone tool so that I can kind of make this easy to repair. So we'll bring a stone tool, bring his pickaxe into here, and then we can toss a pickaxe in this. Now, we can add bindings. We can do things. We can upgrade stuff. I think, actually, I should be able to do a little bit of, like, this. That will let me craft a better handle. So now it's got an acacia handle, and it should get slightly better. Stone picks. I think, for the moment, what I want to do is we want to make sure we put a binding on it. So do we have any string? We do. Cool. Let's work on a binding, put a string on that, and craft that. So that'll make it a little bit better. It'll make the durability go up. It'll make the, the, the weathering and all that wonderful stuff go up. I believe this handle, we can actually wrap it with something like leather, maybe? Yes, can I craft that? Sweet, I guess. How are we doing? Item used for mining, affects how fast this can be swung, damage, and all this kind of wonderful, cool stuff. Stone pickaxes, adds head pickaxes. Now, this is the fun part because you can take a pickaxe and turn it into various things. So I could put a sickle on the back side of it. I could put a hoe on the other side of it. We're going to go ahead and just dump some more cobble on it for now so that it gets a better head on that side. And the same thing is going to go on this side. Go ahead. Craft, thank you very much. How does this look now? Now, granted, it's a stone pickaxe. I know that. What we can do with this guy, and we'll go ahead and just jump in here. Let's see. Do we have any dark oak wood or wood or sticks or something? Let's go get some sticks and make a few torches. And we're going to go play around with this for a little bit. I do not expect it to be any better than this one for that matter. But what we're looking at is trying to get something that's actually going to function a little better and is repairable. Let's grab us some torches and just so we can see what we're doing, basically. Cool. And let's put a bunch of this junk away, sleep through the night, and then go mining. All right, let's pop in here real fast and just run over here. Now, I'm expecting this to be about as fast as a normal 
cobblestone pickaxe is going to be. But as I use it, it should theoretically get better. Now, I'm not going to sit here and subject you guys to this, but I'm just going to kind of play around with it a little bit and see whether or not this is going to be any good. Because the next thing I want to do is not fall in the lava. Dummy. Go ahead. Nobody likes you. It's just everywhere down here. I love it. It's okay. Because what I can do is I can take this pickaxe, technically, and put it in that table. But that pickaxe already has a whole bunch of good stuff on it. Yay, it's springtime. Thank goodness the snow's going to start going away. So with something like that, what's really cool about it is now I can put this thing back in here, I believe, and just repair it with the material that it takes to repair it, and it's brand new again. And it doesn't cost levels, it doesn't cost anything else like that, and it doesn't do, you know, it doesn't, it, it, it's it's wonderful, it's great. So as it sits right there, we've got a stone pickaxe with an acacia handle, lever wrap, leather wrap one, and a string binding. So let's see about trying to do a few other things. Let's look through here and see what else it wants us to do. So I probably already screwed up, I should have done that. Nope, we got one, good deal. Give me the XP. Pickaxe head is going to give us is a pickaxe that allows you to mine just like you would expect it to do. And I get a few of those. We'll take the stone hammer. Making better gear by upgrading your hammer to stone tier 2. To upgrade the hammer, you need another hammer to do so, hence the reward from the previous quest. Interesting. So I didn't. So an iron hammer. Let's make a metal hammer, which I think we can do that by just doing this, right? No, not a sleeping bag. Iron. So you need a tier two. Yeah, that's why this is kind of silly because this you start to have to deal with this over, you know, just wandering of things. So I have to take another hammer and put this hammer in there and repair it with whatever little bit of wood we may have laying around. Uh, those are planks. Okay, cool. Thank you. And then I have to take this one and upgrade it into this. So then I can do a, let's see, a same old thing. Pickaxe head, hammer head with a bit of cobblestone to craft that. And this into a hammer head into a bit of cobblestone to craft that into a few other things. Which then I believe I can do this. And this, I keep wanting to put it up here on the table. Cool. So now we have one of those. Now we've got a hammer, a tier, tier three hammer, tier three. The, where's the stone hammers right there? That's an iron hammer. Beautiful. That'll allow us to add materials that are harder than what we were normally playing with to our tools. So that technically means now I think I can take this and turn it into a iron pickaxe. Same thing here. Nice. And I think I need to look at the cutting tools. I think it's either going to be one of these cutting tools or it's a sword or something. I forget what they're talking about. It's been forever. But that now is an iron pickaxe. And that's why it's so cool, because I can take this pickaxe and I can put enchantments on it. I can upgrade things. Let's see. Can I do something with that right now? Can I, can I, can I uh, enchant with an enchanted book? So I can put an enchanted book on one side or the other. I think you can do that with the handle as well, so you can add them breaking to the bottom of this. That's the fun part, is you can sit there and play with them and do quite a bit of stuff. Plus, I think we have some details. Tweaking, not available, basic handle. Can I make this better? What can I put in here? Where's my hollow sphere? What can we make handles out of at this point? So if I say bows, blades, things, stuff, double-headed, handles can be made out of what? Metal handles, which I think we can actually add silver, steel, lead. I don't know why you would want lead. Gold handle. 
What else do we have? Iron? I think we could put an iron handle on it, or I could put a bone handle on it. Uh, we could do a blazing handle. We could do an end rod handles. So we could do repurposed beams, whatever that is. Let's just for funsies then put some, let's see, basic handle. And I want to put that on there. And now it's an all iron pickaxe, except for the binding. So let's go see what this does. Pretty reasonably decent durability for something that's made completely out of iron. 320 some odd hits. That's great. Cool. Play with the next thing then. All of a sudden my frames went funny. Hello. Okay. We're better, I think. Put that away. What do we get over here out of this? Nice. Okay. Cool. And yeah, we can just kind of keep playing with that. We can keep adding more things. I should be able to try to get a little bit better of a binding on it eventually. Uh, but yeah, we can work through all of these. We can do all those cool little things. I think for right now, what I want to do, what is that I take to make? I wonder Blackstone hammer. I believe we have that. Can we do that to that hammer? Uh, can I upgrade you to this? I want to do a hammerhead with blackstone craft and a hammerhead with blackstone and craft that. That's a blackstone hammer, which I guess is a tier three. Can I make a little bit better? Can, can you, I mean, I, I don't really want to fool with the handle just yet because it's basically just a crafting tool. So we have a blackstone hammer. Time to head in the nether to get some fine heat trade. Blackstone says true to do to do to do stronger than basic metals. Really? Okay, to do to do to do to do. To move on to the next section, we need to take our hollow sphere and we need to upgrade it with an eye of ender to give it a proximity tracer of the bases that we need to be going to look for while exploring for those things. Uh, we just did that. So let's make us an eye of ender because we should. I don't need that thing. I need the, what did I do with them? Right there. One of those, please. Lace powders, eyes of ender. Do I upgrade it in this table? Dim core ancient frame scanner. I have ender. Neat. So what do you do with it? Do you throw it? No. <laughs> While exploring these dungeons, to help locate these bases, a hollow sphere can be upgraded with an eye of ender to give it a proximity tra tracker of the bases. They can sometimes be seen in the mini map while underground. Oh. So we're going to have to go find some of those bases in order to be able to get into some of the more fun stuff that goes. Oh. There's a bar up top. Okay, cool. We'll find that out later. I it looks like I have quite a bit of stuff that I need to do, but we're going to kind of start down through this. We will be playing with this mod as we go through various things. I just kind of want to fool with it a little bit more. I wonder, actually, can I put diamonds on this now? Probably not. Uh, Pickaxe head. And I don't think diamonds are actually the way to go. I think you want to kind of work towards something like blackstone. So if I put that in there and I hit craft, it's now a blackstone pickaxe. Can I put some more in there because we do have some? Do you pickaxe head blackstone? And I need to do some reading on some of this because, yes, I do need to work on a little bit better of a binding and I need to work on a little bit better of a few things. So let's see about making us a tool belt. So a rope tool belt is a few things like that. Let's see about making one of those. And then I think we'll be done for today. Tool belts are pretty cool. It's another one of those that will allow you to carry a few things around. So there is a tool belt. Leather strap, rope, few things. Can I have my cool pickaxe that I will play with in between episodes? I do know that I want to not put diamonds on this for a while, even if I think I ever really want to add diamonds to it now that we have it. 
Uh, we'll put that away, and I'll put that away, and I'll put the slime ball over there along with that. So a tool belt, I believe, we can put this in here, and we can add leather straps to it, ropes, and sockets that will allow us to be able to store things. So a storage pouch. I don't remember where it is. Where's our hollow sphere? Get your tool out. Wow. <laughs> Materials, shields, blades, tool belts, tool belts. What can I put in here? Potion bag, storage pouch, a booster, belt strap, 4x4. I'm assuming those will allow me to hold things. Quiver? Really? I need a better cutting tool, I think. If I put this, let me let me test something. I know for a fact that if I put something in here, I lose whatever's on it. Or at least maybe I used to. We'll grab that shovel. No, I don't want to waste a diamond shovel. I don't want to waste a diamond shovel. I want to take one of these other things that we may have. Oh, that's got Fortune 3 on it. Can I possibly upgrade this into something else and not lose the... Pickaxe enchantment. Craft. Yeah, it took the enchantment off of it. I thought that was the case. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll uh we'll definitely play with some of that later on. So I guess guys, that's enough for me for right now. We've got definitely plenty of time to fool around and I'm going to have to do some cutting up on this one as it is, but I will kind of spend time in between episodes fooling with these to try to get one of these to upgrade reasonably decent. But since it is a Blackstone pickaxe, let's go see how good it is. Wow, that's a lot of durability considering on the iron it was sitting around... 320 we now have uh 572 so that's really really cool and of course the hone will go up as i use it so it's one of those deals that we're just going to kind of do stuff like this it does work with the vein mine yeah again that hone will go up that's it trying to you know level itself so yeah we're going up slowly i just need to start using this one and playing around with it so i guess guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one well, hopefully we can do a little bit more fooling around with tetra and possibly start building out our base so i'll see you guys later bye